All right, and now let us say hello to the man who fought to a draw on Saturday night in the main event of UFC 256, one of the best fights of 2020, if not the best, one of the best flyweight title fights of all time, if not the best. What a performance from the assassin baby, Brandon Moreno. He is kind enough to join us here on the program. Brandon, first off, thank you for the time. And the obvious question off the bat is, how are you feeling after that five-round fight? No, man, thank you for your time, man. For me, no problem. Um, right now, I feel like it's a little bit swollen, a little bit sore, but no, happy, happy, you know, to finish this year, this crazy year, like, uh, like in, with success, you know? Any serious injuries after the fight? No, no, no. I, 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 yesterday, I had an X-ray and an MRI just to wish to stay uh, completely sure and nothing bad happens in, on me. But no, I, I think it's just swelling and sore. Um, my shoulder and my forearm hurts a little bit, but I think I'm fine. Actually, I have an appointment with the doctor in the, um, later. Okay. And the eye is okay? The right eye? Yes. Yes. Just swelling. Just purple. <laughs> but I'm fine. I mean, man, the guy punched really hard, but <laughs> I don't have nothing serious, to be honest. Have you rewatched the fight yet? I, no, no, Jay. I need to watch the fight. I have my my account of Fight Pass, but my account is Mexican, so I try to use it here in the United States, and I, I can use it. Oh wow! So you haven't gone home yet? No, I'm in Vegas. Uh, I'll be part of the broadcast this this weekend for the event. Yes, okay. So, so man, I am a hard worker. That's amazing. So you haven't had a chance to see your family? Oh, my family is here. It's with, I mean. My wife and my three kids. Uh, after the uh, next Sunday, I will go to Tijuana and see my parents. And you know, okay. Um, when that fight was over, after everything you went through those twenty-five minutes, did you think in your heart that you had won? Um, may I mean, I I feel I feel like uh, the the second, the third, and the fourth was mine. Obviously, obviously the fifth. Uh, I feel like a very very sore in my shoulder. I my my left arm is my is one of my huge uh, uh, skills and weapons I have. So I feel very sore and and, and I feel too much pain in my in my left arm. So I try to push forward and put more pressure on Davison, but I can't I, I can't do it in that moment. I'm trying to to take him down again, but you know my my arm was like devastated. You know like destroyed. Wow. And, and was that an injury that you were dealing with going into the fight, the shoulder injury, or did it happen in the fight? No, in the fight. I throw too much jabs, like very hard jabs, you know. A lot of, of those jabs was directed to his face, but another one was like, uh, I hyperextension my arm, you know. Ah, okay. My arm, yes. Now, obviously, a major turning point in the fight was the low blow in the third and it was hard to watch you. You were coughing. You looked like you were in a lot of pain. How did that feel? How much pain were you in? Man, I mean, I think it's the first time I, I take time when the referees uh, told me, you know, because I'll, I was like, no, I'm fine. I can continue the fight. But that in that moment was very painful. Everything was very painful. Uh, I'm trying to recover myself very fast because I know Figueredo was tired in that moment. And he started to recover him, uh, uh, himself very, very, uh, very well. I'm trying to go very fast to the fight, but I, I can do it. <laughs> uh, were you close to not being able to continue? No, but man, I just needed to take my, my minutes. You know, I never take the, the, the time when the referees say I need, I need time. But in that moment, definitely need it. Amazingly, the back end of that moment, you could say you won the rest of the round and then you won the fourth round convincingly. Was it bothering you or did it just like in the moment you're, you have so much adrenaline, you just kind of forget about it all. I think both. I was, I had like a, too much adrenaline, but, uh, but you know, I was angry, you know, like we, the guy started with the, uh, with the eye pokes, mm. the, the referee don't do nothing. I mean, the, the referee, Jason is one of the, is the, the most, uh, uh, amazing referees right now, you know. Mm -hmm. So I, I understand. I, I understand, but in in, in person, I think Pireo start to put poke my eyes like uh, three times in a row. Like, hey, why? <laughs> so 
yeah, I was very angry in that moment and I tried to push forward. Do you think the eye pokes were intentional? <sighs> I don't know. I mean, I understand one. I understand, I understand even two. But man, three in a row? I don't know. I, I think he was very frustrated, you know, maybe. I and mean, he lost his mind, maybe. Mm. Um, and you talked about his power and, and you didn't get injured. Like now being in there, people talk about his power and how strong he is. Feeling him, would you say that he's one of the hardest hitting or maybe the hardest hitting flyweight that you've ever fought? Was the power everything that people said it was or were you not impressed with the power? Uh, in some point, I mean, obviously, yes, I'm impressed with his power, you know, he punched very hard. But I don't know, the media and all the people around around this world of the, the mixed martial arts talked about him like super god you know the god of war and uh, man obviously uh, he's impressive he's very good but, but but he's a human being just like me you know um he moved and i think the the fight looks more impressive because he punched uh, he punched you know my body and i i felt like I block a lot of, of his punches, but for, you know, for his power, because he moved my body, looks very impressive for the judges and for the people. But I, I, I feel like I block like a lot of, of his punches. I spoke to him on Monday and, and he alluded to this on, on uh, Saturday night, but he told me um, at length what he had been through the night before, going to the hospital a couple of times, throwing up, <laughs> being sick. Uh, I'm I'm wondering, did you know about any of that? I'll, I'll get your I'll get your take on what he said, but I'm just curious. Did you hear about that going into the fight, or is this all news to you? It's, no, I, I I heard about that after the fight. But man, we need to I need to talk with Davison and say hello, welcome to the world of the mixed martial arts. You know, it's very nor that is very normal. <laughs> you know, I never talked before about that, but I've in the UFC I fall like two times sick in my stomach, you know? But I never say not, nothing because, man, uh, the UFC don't put a trigger, you know, in my head to go to the fight. So it's my problem, you know? But I, I, but I understand just if you were sick, why you fight? <laughs> So, so what is your reaction to him talking about this now? Do you feel like his, you know, I'll be honest, I, I believe him, but I've also seen a lot of the comments and I see the comments from the fans saying, oh, you're making excuses. You're, you're, you're trying to give a reason why you didn't win the fight. What is your reaction to seeing this? <laughs> uh, both. Excuses, you know. Yes, I think for excuses, you know. For example, me, I'm making excuses with my with my arm because I have my right arm, I have my legs, I have more more, more weapons. So, man, everything are excuses. Okay. Does it bother you? No, it's fine. I don't care. Everybody loves the fight, and that's make me feel so happy. Yeah, I mean, in a way, it's good that he fought, right, for you as well, because this, even though you didn't win, would you say your life has changed now? I mean, a lot more people know who you are, and you're getting a lot more respect, right? Man, I. Everything is amazing, you know. My social media explode last night uh, after the fight. A lot of people talk with me, say, hey, "Man, you are amazing. You are a, a, a Mexican warrior." Uh, man, that makes me feel so proud of my work. Um, I have a lot of respect of uh, other fighters who I, I, uh, I have too much uh, respect, you know, like. You know, other other fighters like say send me a message and say, hey, Congress brothers, you look like a warrior man. That made me feel like, you know, amazing. Sure. You know, impressive. In the broadcast, I know you haven't seen it yet, but like they're talking about you and Marco Antonio Barrera and and Julio Cesar Chavez. Like they're they're mentioning your name in the same sentence as those guys. That's pretty incredible, right? For a Mexican-born fighter to be discussed now with fighters like that. Yeah, and in in Mexico, the I mean, in Latin America has a, like a kind of discussion because they say like, man, he can't, he can't say that this uh, unrespectful for uh, that child. Like, man, come on, it's, why is so serious? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's the, I, I know it's different, but I um, I want to say I want to be like curious about his name. You know how it's important for the country. I want to be the the same like 
and uh, important for my for Mexico too, you know. Right. Not for the career because me, uh, boxing and mixed martial arts are very very different, you know. So I just want to have that kind of name in my country. Are you getting a lot of love in your country uh, from the media? Yes. Yeah. Man, yes, you know, a lot a lot of support, you know. Obviously, in the world, it exists too much hate, you know, it exists obviously in my country too. But in general, I think 90% of the people uh, uh, who watched the, the, the fight last night, last Saturday, sorry, you know, I have all his support and I'm so happy. I'm so proud for that. It's a crazy thing because it was, a, it was an amazing fight. You're getting a ton of love. It's almost like neither of you lost, yet you don't have the belt and he does. So, like, how, how does it feel to go through a fight like that? You get all this praise, all this love. A lot of people thought you won, but you're not champion. You don't get to fulfill your dream. Does that, does that eat at you inside? Um, man, yeah. I, I know the, the, the final target is not accomplished yet. I, I, want, I want to fight against, uh, against Davison Figueredo. I want them, that belt. I know I can do it. I can do it just, I need to stay focused uh, uh, from the first uh, uh, on the fifth round, you know, stay focused in the fight. Uh, I I know I can beat him. I know I can beat and more now. Mm. Before I, I knew, now completely, I know I can beat him just, we need to make that rematch and we'll see what happens again. Uh, did you lose focus in the fight? Is that what you're saying? That did you feel like you no, did? but you know, I was very distracted with my with my pain yeah. in my arm. You know, like you know, obviously I was tired too. You know, I yeah. think Figueroa was more tired, but I was tired too. So that 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 make me feel like maybe a little bit distracted. You know, more for my for the pain of the arm. But again, excuses. I don't I don't like that. Mm. I need to go to the fight again. Um, also, when I spoke to Mamade, he said he wants to fight you again, and he wants to do it in June. Um, does that work for you? Do, you? do you like that, or is that a little too long to wait? Man, it's. I think April sounds good for me. April sounds good for me, you know, for a good training camp, uh, for a good game plan with my partners, with my head coach in Tijuana, and, and then go for the fight. June is, is too much, but we'll see, you know. We need to tell, we need to tell with I need to talk with my manager, with Jason. I need to talk with the with the company, with yeah, with with Dana, with with Nick, and we'll see. Um, but it seems like the good news is they are going to give you the immediate rematch, right? Is that what you're hearing as well? Yeah, That's until right news. now, yes. Yes. Dana, they know what actually. They know what. They know what. After the fight, told me like, hey, you have the rematch next year. So we we'll, wow. Uh, enjoy, enjoy Christmas. Enjoy your family, and and see you see you next year. Um, he came up to you after the fight? No, directly to me, but he was in an interview. Okay. And I was waiting for uh, to talk with with Megan, and he finished the, the interview and talked with me. Okay. Um, and, and you know, when I asked him about the rematch, he said, if I wasn't sick, I would have knocked out Brandon in the first round. <laughs> what is your reaction oh, to that? It's crazy, man. It's, it's so crazy after uh, talking after a fight, fight like that, it's fine. It's fine. You know, he he wants his Gucci sunglasses, his fancy clothes. Okay, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll ask you, and I know you say you don't want to make excuses, but if you had a full training camp for your first title fight, do you think the fight goes differently? Maybe, but but what's the same for him? So I can yeah. make that kind of excuses, you know? Yeah. What what a, what a year for you though, right? I mean, to end I know. like this, are you are you able to be happy about it even though you didn't get the belt? Man, watch me right now. I'm so happy. You know, I'm enjoying uh, uh, my time with my family. I spend time with my three kids. Um, obviously, I have too much love, too much support from the people. It makes me feel like very very good. You know, like sometimes when I go to the bed these days. I start to think about the fight, like, man, I, I, maybe I can do this or can do that. But it is what it is. I need to enjoy this kind of moments, you know? I need to yes. enjoy this this year because it was crazy, it was chaotic for everybody. But I had the opportunity, uh, the, the lucky to, to get success this year. By the way, you're always <laughs> smiling. You're always in a great mood. Does anything bother you? Like, is there one thing that's your pet peeve? <laughs> maybe, but you need to ask to my wife. Maybe... 
she can ans answer something different. <laughs> Maybe when you don't get a, a, a Lego set, right? That you've that you've been trying. Are you gonna Are you gonna treat yourself? Man, I have homework. You got nice. <laughs> Look, I have I have this one. Oh, Batman. One more here. This little one. I'm do I'm doing the this one. Oh wow! So, oh wow! So yes, I have I have homework right now. I saw that you got a, a bunch of presents, I think for your birthday, right? You just had your birthday? Yes, actually my manager sent me the, the, the Mario yeah. the Lego and my wife gave me the, the Batmobile Lego. <laughs> Amazing. And by the way, happy birthday. I saw you got the, the old school Thank Nintendo, you. right? Did you get the old school Nintendo? Yes. Man. It's, uh, it's, it's a, a Lego Nintendo. Oh, it's a Lego amazing. Nintendo. Wow. Uh, yeah, other guy from my team give me another uh, stormtrooper head from Star Wars, um, and uh, yeah, a lot, a lot of presents. Too much love here in Vegas when I come. Amazing. Well, uh, enjoy it. Enjoy the holidays, and and uh, congratulations, Brandon. I know you didn't, you know, get the belt, but you should be very proud of that fight. That was an incredible fight to watch. And I don't know what's in your chin, my friend, but holy smokes, you could take a punch. <laughs> That's an amazing thing to watch you in action. So uh, I hope you're proud of what you did. Man, thank you so much. We appreciated your time, and, and you know it's special for me. It's, uh, see you next year because next year's will be crazy. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content. Subscribe to ESPN Plus.